Let's take a trip to learn how to round decimals. It's time for takeoff. Rounding is a way of simplifying numbers to make them easier to understand or work with. Rounding can be used when exact numbers aren't needed, and an approximate answer will do. Number lines are useful tools when rounding with decimals. First, you want to determine the two whole numbers it's between. Next, you want to locate the decimal on the number line. And last, identify which whole number it's closer to. Let's look at the example. Round 224 and 751 thousandths to the nearest whole. We know 224 and 751 thousandths is between 224 and 225. 224 and 751 thousandths would be in the middle with 224 and 25 hundredths here, and 224 and 75 hundredths here. Now, our number, 224 and 751 thousandths, would be a tiny bit past 224 and 75 hundredths. There, we have our number line. It looks like our number is closer to 225 than it is to 224. So 224 and 751 thousandths must round to 225. Let's look at the same problem, but use a base 10 model to round. Let's see. We have 224 holes, and now 7 tenths, 5 hundredths, and 1 thousandth. The decimal part of our number gives us more than half of a hole, therefore coming close to giving us the 225th hole. So then 224 and 751 thousandths must round to 225. Let's check out this problem by using 10 by 10 grids. We want to round 224 and 75 hundredths to the nearest hole. We have 224 whole grids colored in, plus a grid of 75 hundredths. This grid of 75 hundredths is more than halfway full. It's almost a hole. Since it's so close to being a hole, we can round it up to a hole, and combining it with the 224 would give us 225. So 224 and 75 hundredths rounds to 225. Now, let's see what a problem looks like when rounding is applied to the real world. Walter's airline ticket costs $224.75. About how much does Walter pay for his ticket? Round to the nearest dollar. I see 224 is the whole, and I want to round to the nearest dollar. So now let's underline the dollar's place value. If we look to the right of the dollar's place value, we have the tenths place. Since it's a 7, which is greater than 5, it's more than half a dollar, so we can round up to the next dollar. Therefore, $224.75 rounds to $225. Let's try rounding with more decimals. We want to round each decimal to the nearest whole. Number 1 is 634 and 5 tenths. Well, our number is between 634 and 635. If we look at the tenths place, it's a 5, which means it's halfway to the next number. And whenever it's 5 or greater, we want to round up because it's closer to the next hole. So our answer would be 635. Let's look at number 2. 14 and 829 thousandths. It's between 14 and 15. 
If we look at the tenths place, we see an 8, which means it's more than halfway to the next number. So we would round up to 15. And the last problem, 123 and 9 hundredths, that's between 123 and 124. If we look at the tenths place, we see a 0, which means it's less than halfway to the next number. So it would round down to 123. And now you're ready to do these on your own. Good luck!